guys, welcome back to the Kid Science Corner. I know it's been a very long time, but I'm back at it, this time with a digital electronics project. And this is something that I've never really done before, so I'm excited to try this. This project is going to be called the Internet Radio. I know there are some radio lovers out there, but this is kind of like a DIY make your own radio. So before we get started with this project, let's start with a little crash course on the fundamentals of sound and how we can hear. There are two types of any signal. There's digital signals and analog signals. Digital signals work with ones and zeros, and as you can see, they're traveling in this specific pattern. And then there's analog signals. This, this is a smooth wave transition, as you can see in this graph, it's very smooth. And this is exactly how we can hear as well. So for a human to hear you, you need to convert these digital signals and digital volumes into analog signals. The internet is also digital, and we need something that converts those digital signals into analog signals so that we can hear them. Let's talk about the circuit diagram of this project. The circuit diagram explains how all of these components in the project work together to play the radio for everyone to hear. So there are four major components that we're going to be talking about. There's the battery, the ESP32, the amplifier, and the speaker. The ESP32 is a popular microcontroller, and it's kind of like a mini computer. And what it does is it connects to the Wi-Fi and the radio station. And through digital signals, it sends all of that information to the amplifier. And the amplifier, um, the name of it is the MAX 98357A. And what it does is it takes the information that the ESP32 has sent to it in digital signals, and it converts all of that into analog signals while also amplifying the sound so that we can hear it when it sends this information through analog signals to the speaker. And it does all of that through these connecting wires, and I'll get to that. So there are different ports here that these wires are connected to. So there's GPIO25, and that's connected to LRC. There's GPIO26, which is connected to BCLK. There's SCL, which, converted to, which is connected to DIN. There's ground, connected to gain, and then ground is connected to ground on one side. And then 5 volts is connected to VIN. And we'll get to all of that, and you'll get to see how all of that works when we actually start to build this project. All right, let's start actually building this project. So these are all the components that I talked about. We have an ESP32 development board. That's what it looks like. And then we have a breadboard with an amplifier and a speaker. We have our battery. And we also have some wires to connect. And if you're interested in any of these components, I will put the link um, in the description box. And also, all of the code for this project, because code will be required to make this project work, all of this code is already uh, loaded onto the ESP32 development board. And if you want, I can also put a link in the description to that. And I can do uh, another video if you guys are interested on just about Arduino and code about it. So now let's get to connecting um, the wires. Um, based off of the circuit diagram that I talked about earlier in this video. So as you can see, I finished all of the connections here based off of the circuit diagram that we talked about. And through all of these wires, it's obviously going to do our digital analog conversions and send it to the speaker. And once I connect this battery right here, then it'll start playing the radio. So I'm going to put the microphone here so you guys can hear it. Okay. All right. Three, two, one.
Alright guys, well that's a wrap for today's internet radio project. I really hope you guys enjoyed this digital electronic project. And I'm definitely going to do more videos like these because I really enjoyed them too. And also, for my next videos to leave you guys in a little bit of suspense, um, it's going to be the same concept with the same components, um, like the same analog digital process. Um, but I'm also going to find a way to incorporate AI with it. So I'm going to try and make it work with chat GPT. Um, so watch out for that video. And um, if any of you guys are interested in designing this specific internet radio project, I will definitely leave a link in the description um, to the preloaded code and also um, some of the components. So I'll definitely leave a link in the description to that. So also go check that out. Um, all right, that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.